Yep, hapo ndiyo baridi ya Nairobi imetufikisha. So, welcome, welcome to a new vlog. If you're new here, my name is Emily. If you are a returning subscriber, you, friend, are my favorite person and you don't even know it yet. I want to have lunch as I watch The Real Housewives of Potomac. Today is Monday, the 12th of July, and that means The Real Housewives of Potomac is back. So that's what I want to watch as I have my lunch and then I'll catch you guys later on. Good morning guys. It's the following day. I didn't vlog much yesterday because I was preparing for court today. I had two matters. It's currently at 12 sharp and I've just finished with court. I am so happy that went well and I am looking forward to the rest of the day which basically involves nothing. Just to chill. <laughs> I hope there's not too much noise in the background. I have changed into home appropriate clothes and I want to make breakfast. It's going to be plantain, sausages, samosas and coffee or tea figure in between. So that's what I'm doing right now, making breakfast at 12. Because the dream is free but the hustle, the hustle is sold separately. And breakfast is ready, that's coffee, and then I have spicy beef, sausages, plantain, vegetables, samosas, and an apple. These are my lamb chops right here. I'm trying to figure if I should marinate and grill. I must look, cook them and have them with mashed potatoes. So let me enjoy my breakfast and I'll catch you guys later on. Since the sun is out, I've decided I'm going to have my breakfast from here as I soak up in the sun and bask. Because one can't really tell when there will be this much sun again. So let me soak up in the sun and enjoy my breakfast. So guys, I have decided I'm going to slow cook these lamb chops. I only added uh, salt and black pepper there. And then these are the spices I'm going to use. That's tomato paste, steak and chop spice, oregano, rosemary, and this is garlic salt. I'm going to blend all these. But first I'm going to fry the meat in these onions and then blend the lemon, capsicum, nyanya, garlic, ginger, and dania. And I'm also going to use the nor chili beef cubes to slow cook it. So I plan on slow cooking this for six hours. So let's start the prep immediately. Adding paprika and a little bit of nutmeg over there. Oh! No, no, I mean, no, but I don't think it's too much. It's all right. It's all right. It's okay. It's okay. Hey, <laughs> I thought gassy beige. So since I'm slow cooking this for six hours, I'm going to add in like two cups of water and then change into this uh, low burner because that is usually my low heat. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
true mm. but please measure sisi watu wenye tumezoea kupika tunapimanga na macho so transferring it there i reduce a little bit Yep, like that. And then let it cook for 6 hours straight. So I'll see you guys after 6 hours I'm going to pair this up with mashed potatoes and that will be my dinner for today, probably lunch, dinner and lunch the day after tomorrow. So if you don't see me cooking, this right here is my deal for the next two days. 6 hours later and I am done cooking. That is what 6 hours of slow cooking looks like and I also made some potatoes that I want to mash. That's coconut milk. A spoon and a half is enough. And then I also add add in like a tablespoon of uh, prestige original. And that's what I mash with. I think I've said that before if I'm not wrong. I let it melt fast by doing this so that some sides are not more flavored than the other side. I think that's I think that's enough and then the city girls have taught me thou shall not labor in the kitchen. in literally 2 minutes and you're done quick simple and easy done literally 2 minutes and i'm done that is my meal right there mashed potatoes and lamb chops and this is probably my fourth cup of coffee today <laughs> when you're baridi ko we can't even drink juice so coffee it is that is dinner for today let me dig in i am starving and i'll catch you guys tomorrow in case i don't talk to you again today guys guess what just came in new hair hoodies The good hair studio dot ke just delivered. So let me see, let me see, let me see what it looks like. I'm so excited to try this out. So guys, I've not held a camera for the last, let's say, I think about four days. I tried to vlog, but mm -mm, but I couldn't stand being in front of the camera. And if you know me, you know. One thing about me is I don't force anything and I don't like to half ass anything. So today is Sunday and I want to pick up from where I left from the vlog. I am heading out. I want to go to Kafo, buy a few things that I don't have and then I'll be back. But of course, I want to submit the outfit of the day. The lighting is a bit off because it's cold and cloudy, but I'm wearing this blouse and these jeans and my nude palms and a kofia sunglasses and the new hair that I got from uh the good hair studio.ke I'm going to leave their link somewhere down here So yeah I'm actually let me just be honest I'm not just going to Kafo to buy groceries I'll pass by Kafo but I'm going to have lunch with a friend and then I'll be back so see you guys when I'm back back from Kafo. I got a few items. First up is this measuring jug. But I told you guys in the last vlog that I broke, I've replaced it. And then I got this ice cream glasses. I got a small one and a big one. The other thing that I got was Daniel plantain. Buns, I ran out of buns, so I got some. The other thing I got was this uh, whipping cream, Betty Crocker's. I like this one, but I've never tried the cream and cheese. I'm curious to try it out, and then I'll 
tell you guys if it's worth it. I think I bought whipping cream last time, but that wouldn't have been enough. So I bought another one. And then I have one wine glass left to my name. So I purchased a new one. Oops. That is what it looks like. And these are for red wine. The other stuff that I got was apple. I also got this cute bowl that I can be taking my butternut soup from. That is what it looks like. I got cashew nuts. I got a lighter mwiko. My ugali mwiko is very heavy, so I bought a lighter one. The other stuff that I got was mm, bacon. And I got capsicum and cucumber. And I also got this for my coffee. This is the, the caramel syrup. This is really good with coffee. So I got these as well to be taking my coffee with. So yeah, that's all the stuff that I got from Kafo. For dinner, I think I'm going to make ugali with spinach. That's what I'm going to have. And I have leftover lamb chops, I have leftover butter beans, and I have leftover butternut soup. So I can have ugali, spinach, and all those leftovers. So see you guys as I make dinner. And dinner is ready. I'm having a fridge buffet, aka all my leftovers, butter beans, lamb chops, spinach, and ugali. And that is my dinner right there with a glass of red wine. So in case I don't talk to you guys again, I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, guys. I woke up today at 5.30. And since I couldn't sleep, I decided to come here and work on some files it's currently at 8 or 5 and i'm torn between washing utensils and making breakfast or going back to bed and sleep for one hour and then make breakfast but i don't think i'll sleep so instead what i'll do i'll just make a breakfast but first i'll wash the utensils so yeah that is all there is to today hmm. there's supposed to be a video going up today because it's monday but Mm, couldn't do it so i think i'll vlog more this week because i don't have caught this week until next week so yeah that is all there is to this week and i look forward to having a good week so let me seize the day And breakfast is ready. I'm having plantain, bacon, and as always, a bland hot dog with green lemon tea with lemongrass. And that is breakfast for today. Let me go and catch up on all my ratchet TV shows. See you guys later on. Guys, it's around 3 and I'm really, really hungry. My meat is taking longer than I expected. So I'm going to wait for it to boil kabisa kabisa. Meanwhile, I ordered some lunch from um, a nearby restaurant. I ordered, um, let me show you. I ordered beef and fries with some veggies from a nearby restaurant. And that's what I'm going to have for lunch. Uh, I might not have dinner. And if I do, I'll show you guys what I have. 
Good morning guys. I just woke up, had a shower and now I want to make breakfast. I feel like having a nice coffee, a nice coffee and nothing else. Unfortunately, I don't have uh, ice cubes so I think I'll make that in the afternoon or around 4ish, 5ish there. So meanwhile, I'm just going to make the normal normal breakfast that I usually have. So let me do that. And today is a holiday. I'll just catch up on all my Favorite Ratchet TV shows. And that is my breakfast. I am shouting because there is background noise. Coffee, a sausage, plantain and the bland hot dog as usual. So let me have this for now and I can't wait to satisfy my cravings later on with a nice coffee. I'm going to skip right through lunch and have rice beans and beef for dinner it's time for me to make dinner i want to make rice and beef so i'm going to fry the rice in one onion and coconut milk as well as spice for rice i get this at kafo although i haven't seen it of late i'm also going to add butter beans i am defrosting them in hot water since i forgot to do that so this is like a faster shortcut to defrost and I'm also going to fry this beef over here that I boiled yesterday with lots of onions, capsicum and dania. The rice will go there. So yeah, let me cook and then have dinner and sleep. That's all there is to. Good morning guys. I woke up, did a little bit of work and now I'm having breakfast. This is coffee. I added a little bit of caramel syrup, hot dog, sausage, bacon and plantain. Same old, just a different day. So now I want to have breakfast, shower and then catch up with some work. And I'll talk to you guys then. Hey guys, it's currently at 5.30. I've just finished working. I've had such such a long day, but I'm glad I'm done. For lunch, I ordered KFC. Five pizza, sticky, and that's what I'm going to have for dinner as well. I don't feel like having what I had yesterday. And my carpets have just been picked. The living room one and the dining one. They were not that clean, so I've just uh, so someone has picked them so that they can go get washed. God knows when they'll be back with this weather. And for now, I'm just going to chill, have my caramel ice cream. I forgot I ordered it, so it may melt. I've put it back in the freezer. I'm going to wait for it to freeze back again. And then in the meantime, I'm just going to watch TV and I'll have the same KFC for dinner. So if I don't talk to you guys today, I'll see you tomorrow. So yeah, that is all there is to today. It's been such a busy day, but I'm happy because I've done work that I was supposed to do yesterday. So tomorrow will be an easy, chilled day for me. Hey guys, it's me. It's definitely the following day and it's at night. I'm about to sleep. I've just had a long, long, long shower that felt really good. And now I'm ready to sleep. I didn't vlog much today because my cleaning lady was here for the better part of the day. She was cleaning as I was helping, aka micromanaging, because I like my house to be spotlessly clean. Although I sometimes let her do her thing. So yeah, that's all there was to today so that's why i didn't vlog i've actually just put on my curtains the sun was up today thank god because my whole house was curtainless so there was nothing really interesting to vlog but uh, i'm looking forward to tomorrow because i have one a client meeting that is not very tense and i also have a training to do 
so i'll see you guys tomorrow good morning guys i have a long day ahead of me so i made a heavy breakfast i'm having a bacon baked beans plantain sausages a glass of uh, warm water with lemon and a yogurt and i think that's all i'm going to have for today until when i'm back home hi guys good morning it's morning but the sun is up and i'm happy about that i am going for a client meeting it's not very tense so i'm not worried about that and then after that i'll go do a training on employment and labor relations uh, matter that's my main area of practice so that's all there is to today unfortunately i can't take you along with me because that will be very unprofesh and it would also be a breach of duty child to my client and i'm not trying i'm not trying I'm not trying to sabotage my career so of course i'm here to submit the outfit of the day that's one thing about me i will submit the outfit of the day so for the outfit of the day i have to tilt my camera like that because of uh, the lighting but i'm wearing this cute red ish blazer with a top jeans and this pair of red heels if you can't tell this is usually one of my favorite pair of shoes for the bag i'm carrying this one it's new pre-loved got it from an online website that sells pre-loved bags it's the gucci dionysus or dionysus depends on how you want to pronounce it and in case you're new here my name is emily and i love collecting bags and shoes and i am also currently into building a perfume collection and with that let me submit the scent of the day for the scent of the day i'm wearing bakara rouge 540 yo uh, uh this thing when you first spray it it's a sample i was given by uh tony of sierra perfumes they are on instagram you can check them out from uh, a recent purchase so thing when it dries down it's warm it's spicy it's powdery it's clean and so on and so forth why does it look like i'm pregnant what the hell is this you are uh, uh, hectic anyway so yeah that's all there is to today and with that i think i can end this vlog here thank you so much guys for tuning in i know i have cooked a lot in this video but that's another one of my hobbies so yeah thank you so much for tuning in my hair this inches darling <laughs> i haven't yet styled it but it still looks cute i'm going to comb it before i leave the house is from um the good hair studio.ke i'm going to leave their handle here they are the ones that supply me all my human hair so thank you guys for tuning in and i'll catch you on the next one bye